Now to questions about conflicts of interest around the new House Speaker Dennis Bonin. Lobbyists own part of his bank and Bonin says he doesn't need to recuse himself from legislation about alcohol, even though he married into a beer distributing family. Considering all of that, Bonin also says he sees no need to fix disclosure laws. This is certainly raising some questions and sparking some of our own for Ross Ramsey, the co-founder and executive editor of the Texas Tribune. Good morning to you, Ross. Hi, how are you, Jason? Doing well. You know, this is already casting an ethical shadow over Speaker Bonin. Will colleagues in the House insist on improving disclosure of these things? You know, I don't know what the House will insist on doing. You know, there are always conflicts of interest possible over there, and disclosure is the way you sort of get your way out of this. Joe Strauss, the previous speaker, his family was involved in horse racing, and he had a written statement read into the record at the beginning of every session saying he wouldn't vote, vote on or participate in horse racing stuff. Bonin's not doing that, and we'll see kind of how this plays out. He's in the more traditional position, I have to say. Most previous speakers and members and senators have handled it the way Bonin is handling it. Let's talk about raising taxes now, too, shifting gears into that. State leaders said they all agree that local governments shouldn't be able to raise taxes more than 2.5% without citizens being able to vote on it. An even bigger cap, though, couldn't pass, couldn't pass last session. What's going to happen with this? What do you foresee? Well, you know, they're in concert on this, and they're talking about property tax relief. They're not talking about cutting property taxes. So this is going to be a little bit of a hard sell because there's not a, a big political payoff for it. But they want to get a leash on local property tax increases and say that the local governments can raise their taxes, would be able to raise their taxes as much as they wanted to, as long as their voters say okay. As long as they say okay, we'll wait and see what happens. A long ways away from any type of uh, resolution on that. Ross, back to you in a moment. Thank you.